we want to make sure that the government follows the First Amendment, which means that except for some very narrow categories of speech, essentially you can never be punished for what you say, you can't be put in jail, the government can't fine you, and you can't be censored by the government. That's appropriate. The government has police, it has the military, it taxes people, it has a lot of power over people's lives. Uh, it's also true that private companies uh, have a lot of power over people's lives, but there is at least a solution to these problems, which is we want there to be more robust competition between different platforms that might tackle these issues differently. In terms of promoting free speech in a more general sense, apart from the First Amendment, I think that removing hate speech from platforms that are intended for mainstream users is a way of promoting free expression because it's very hard to get your ideas out there to communicate with like-minded people if you're in an environment where you're being attacked, you're being harassed, every time you say something, you have a thousand people uh, saying mean, nasty things to you. If just using the site is unpleasant and stressful because you're constantly seeing, you know, these hateful kinds of messages, which are very hard to filter out. Banning hateful speech or violent speech or, or just certain categories uh, of speech uh, you know, it seems to some people like, oh, well, you're against free expression, but we're not saying that those categories of speech necessarily should be illegal or that they shouldn't have anywhere where people aren't allowed to communicate with people who want to hear that. Uh, it's actually very helpful to have a more sort of curated and edited environment uh, in, in which to uh, make yourself heard. Mm -hmm.